नेक्स्ट पार्ट यू हैव टू कंसीडर एम्ब्रियो फॉर्मेशन एज वी नो एम्ब्रियो इज प्री मैच वर्ड और जुवेनाइल मीन्स एन जुवेनाइल स्टेट ऑफ एन वन इज कॉल्ड एम्ब्रियो देन एम्ब्रियो से नी द प्रोसेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एम्ब्रियो फ्रॉम झाई गोट इज कॉल्ड एम्ब्रियो सेनी दैट इवन वी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एम्ब्रियो जेनेसिस हियर जेनेसिस रेफर्स टू फॉर्मेशन एम्ब्रियो फॉर्मेशन वी कॉल्ड एम्ब्रियो जेनेसिस द प्रोसेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एम्ब्रियो फ्रॉम झाई गोट इज कॉल्ड a embryo genesis or embryo zeni basically if you take uh, the match word the female gametophyte suppose you take it as a micropylar end and it is chalazal end here जाइगोट इज प्रेजेंट टूवर्ड्स माइक्रोफाइल आर एंड फेर लेटर हियर ओनली द एम्ब्रियो डेवलपमेंट इज टेक प्लेस वी हैव ए डिसइंटीग्रेटिंग ए एंटीपोडल सेल्स आर देयर डिसइंटीग्रेटिंग एंटीपोडल सेल वी नो in a matured embryo sac functional a a synergids are there not sorry synergids these are synergids sorry synergids are present but now they have no role because the role of synergid is to guide the pollen tube to enter into the egg already fertilization is completed hence these synergids undergo disintegration but at center we have one triploid cell that we call the name primary endosperm cell primary endosperm cell it is triploid because it is formed in triple fusion process and this nucleus is called primary endosperm nucleus that we called a specially pen primary endosperm nucleus it is also triploid towards chalazal end if you consider three antipodal cells are there they are disintegrating disintegrating antipodal cell yes now what happened here the zygote become embryo so one change zygote become embryo then primary endosperm cell become endosperm which nourish the embryo rest of all cells present in this embryo sac attain what a disintegration hence it is fertilized embryo sac or female gametophyte then why we consider this structure because in this part only in embryo sac itself post fertilization two major changes we have to discuss one already we discussed endosperm formation which is take place in a primary endosperm cell and that develops the nascue tissue here which helps for nourishment of the a embryo 
and uh, zygote, a diploid cell formed by the union of egg and sperm, we call it as a zygote, it now develops into embryo. What happened during the embryonic development? The first undergo a zygote, a diploid cell undergo mitosis. As a result, two cells are formed. In that, one cell is basal cell, another one apical cell. Very simple uh, meaning is there. This cell present at base, hence it we call basal cell and later it we also call suspensor cell because it suspend into the a endosperm, suck the nutritive material given to the embryo. Whereas, apical cell develops into embryo. Hence, when it attain a slow development, the suspensor cell slowly usually undergo mitosis and form a straw-like structure and uh, this uh, a apical cell mainly become a globe-like. That is, globe-shaped embryos form and later this uh, embryo become heart shape heart shaped embryo then finally we get matured embryo Especially it is a, a dicot embryo, hence there is a presence of two cotyledons. Then it is a suspensor. It is embryo axis. Then embryo axis having a plebule and radical. Plebule gives a shoot system, a radical gives a root system. It is embryocene or embryogenesis process. We taken here example of mono, uh, dicot ridden embryonic development. But in case of monocot and dicot, basic principle of uh, embryo development remains same. That step includes first zygote become pro embryo, means a primitive embryo that the embryo become globe shape then heart shape and finally matured embryo is formed in the above diagram we can very easily analyze that the zygote undergo mitotic division form two cells one is basal cell we call suspensor cell it present at base later it forms suspensor through that uh, nourishing what fluid is absorbed Apical cell, it is present towards apex or tip and which develops into embryo. Then the basal cell undergo longitudinal mitotic division, form straw like structure that is what you call the name suspensor. And this suspensor absorb nutrients from endosperm. Whereas the apical cell undergo a division in all direction by mass meristematic activity, it becomes globe shape. Later, embryo transferred into heart shape. This heart shape two notches may become two cotyledon later stage. Suppose, see here, if both cotyledons develops properly, one and two, at that time, it becomes dicot. Suppose one is degenerated and only one is left, at that time, it becomes monocot embryo. But in our textbook, the dicot embryo taken as a model, hence it is a dicot embryonic development. Therefore, we are getting here the specially a twist question. Sketch and label embryo sac. Sketch and label embryo sac. At that time, the labels and structure is little bit modified. Instead of zygote, egg is there. Label. 
two synergies. Then polar nuclei with central cell, antipodal cell. It is a diagram of fertilized embryo sac where disintegrating synergies. Then the zygote is there instead of egg. Then polar nuclei and central cell labels are modified now because they become primary. The polar nuclei or secondary a cell become primary endosperm cell and polar nuclei become pen. Then these antipodal cells present in the matured embryo sac, in fertilized embryo sac, they undergo disintegrating. This is what we say the difference between the matured unfertilized embryo sac and fertilized embryo sac. Later, one more important question here, sketch and label the steps of embryonic development or embryogenesis and explain or a sketch and label embryonic development in case of dicotyledon explain the structure like that you are getting five marks question in the previous discussion we explained how embryogenesis is take place that means how zygote develops into a matured embryo. Basic principle between uh, monocotyledon embryogenesis as well as dicotyledon embryogenesis remain same. But uh, after formation of uh, monocot and dicot embryo, there is uh, some structural differences present that we have to discuss separately monocot embryo develop, uh, structure as well as dicot embryo structure. First, we consider the dicotyledon embryo. As the name says, there is a presence of two cotyledons in case of dicot embryo. Then these cotyledons generally swollen means they show swelling due to storage of food material. Therefore, in almost all dicots, if you consider cotyledon helps for storage of food material but not endosperm. Endosperm in these uh, cases only helps for embryonic development, but the endosperm not stores food. Hence, in all dicots, the non endospermic or exerbuminous seeds are generally seen. Then there is a presence of uh, embryo excess. That embryo excess having a, a plumule as a ascending axis. Ascending means upward. Then radical as a descending axis, downward axis. Then plumule develops into shoot system. You know above the ground whatever the plant body part is there that we call the name shoot system that includes stem, branches, leaves, flower, fruits, seeds, buds. Then radical is a descending axis which develops into root system, downward axis, it moves downward. And uh, the radical of uh, specially dicot generally covered by root cap. Even this root cap not only protect the radical, even in case of dicot, taproot system is there that taproot system is capped by root cap and play a very important role in protection if you consider the above embryo axis the structure we call epicotyle epi means above on that base uh, we use the word epicotyle below the em embryo axis whatever the structure is there that what we call hypocotyle. Hypo refers to low or below. See this diagram. 
here we have two cotyledons these two cotyledons are solar and it is a embryo axis generally above the embryo axis whatever the structure is there we call epicotyle below the embryo axis hypocotyle then the embryo axis gives plumule that plumule develops into shoot system whereas another descending axis radicle which develops into root system it is protected by root cap it is a structure of dipod embryo if you consider monopod embryo the name itself indicates here generally one cotyledon is present that is single cotyledon hence what we call the name monopod with presence of what embryo axis if you consider monopod embryo the single cotyledon is there which stores the uh, generally and it we call the name scutellum whereas the embryo axis having ascending axis as a plumule as we seen in case of dicot it also develops into shoot system then a descending axis form radical it develops into a shoot uh, root system but one special character we see that plumule is protected by cap like structure called coleoptile and a radical is protected by cap like structure coleoriza then this is side structure we called as a scutellum it is a single and scutellum of monocot embryo itself we call the name cotyledon